Episode three, planning and globalization, working together to smash the glass ceiling. Jackula called everyone to a meeting after the hotel's dinner rush. Mavis knew what her dad had in mind, but everyone else was quite curious about what Dracula wanted to discuss. After the guests were finished eating dinner and Quasimodo started to slow down, everyone met in a quiet corner of the ballroom. Dracula thanked everyone for coming and started the meeting, which, had, which really was just his way of getting everyone's attention so he could let them know what he had in mind for the hotel. His grand idea was for a commercial for the hotel. He told everyone who wanted their thoughts on the commercial advertising they should do and who they should be targeting. The Wolfman, Frankie, and Murray all peered at an example video that Dracula showed on his phone. The cow wanted the commercial to focus on the beautiful location of the hotel, but Mavis thought they should come at or that they should accent the hotel's amenities and most of the rest of the staff agreed. Dracula refused to hear it, although he said the gathering was for everyone to contribute their thoughts to the, to the commercial. He secretly just wanted everyone to agree with him, and this started to become obvious. The zombies didn't care too much well, because they're zombies and contributed very little. Quasimodo seemed concerned with making sure the commercial included this restaurant and didn't care about anything else. Mr. Fly agrees with Mavis, but is reluctant, reluctant to say out loud since he knows Dracula is stubborn with a temper. Dracula's temper flares as he sees everyone in agreement with Mavis, and he starts yelling. Everyone looked at Dracula in astonishment. Mavis got upset and left the room, followed by most of the rest of the group. The very next morning, Dracula brings Mavis some scream cheese trying to smooth things over, and talked further about the commercial. He told Mavis that he was so busy with the hotel and other chaotic things that were happening there that needed to be handled, that Mavis should be handling the commercial. Mavis happily took the test, saw Mr. Fly in the hallway, and told him to gather everyone together for a meeting right after the class. During the meeting, Mavis told everyone that she was handling the commercial, and everyone was pleased. Mavis must manage the diverse monster resources available, so she lined the monster employees according to their strengths. The zombies would gather the equipment, Quasimodo would cook his best dishes to appear in the commercial, and Mr. Fly would put together a short group exercise segment on the commercial. As everyone was personally able to contribute to the television commercial, the end result was a much more personal an encompassing depiction of what the hotel had to offer. It appealed to a much wider audience and even made future visitors look forward to meeting some of the monsters in the commercial personally. It also showed humans that the monsters of Hotel Transylvania really are approachable and in many ways are regular people trying to make a living while running a fun, relaxing getaway for everyone. It was wildly successful.